my name is Whiptail, and I have built a nuclear reactor which is controlled by computer crafts. Uh, this is not a tutorial, uh, it is just a showcase of what I've made and what I've used. Uh, but if you do want to, I can see if I can manage to put, uh, put out the script because this is on a survival multiplayer server. So I don't know if I can actually get them out. So, uh, and I will firstly thank the modders who made Computercraft. It made Minecraft so much more fun. I really enjoyed it. And this is my biggest creation yet, I would say. Um, these two reactors uh, are built in a single reinforced stone wall. The weakest point is the um, uh, construction foam there in the top. But uh, these never blow up. Haha. <laughs> So let's just go inside and have a peek. Uh, yeah, this is my password door. It's uh, is it eight pistons pulling out everything. So this shell will be whole uh, whenever I'm outside. Um, to transfer redstone signals, I've used redstone receiver and redstone. Is it emitter? something to, to control the start and stop of the, the reactor and if my computer craft program should fail I have installed extra measurements you know you're never perfect Let's see ah I'll fix that later uh, and I'm using this setup I really like this uh, setup uh, it does not give maximum output but still uh, the usage of the uranium cells, uh, well, the uranium cells depletes just as fast as the cooling cells are. So when, uh, whenever I turn this off, the cooling cells will um, start cool off again and will never perish, which I really like. Um, I can show you afterwards how the cooling cycle works. So this is the reactor room. Oh, this is not my setup. I don't remember who I copied it off, but uh, I don't want any credits for it. Uh, but I really like it. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll see if I find a link and put it in the description. Uh, and now to the control center. Down here is uh, basically a gathering of all the sensors. I have five temperature sensors, each with one purpose. Uh, and also here's the two receiver and transmitter for stopping and actually knowing if the reactor have stopped. I have uh, a receiver when the reactor is producing energy and I have uh, a receiver that tells me when the MFSUs are full. I can show you those two sensors before we go on. They are hidden up here in the room. So here is um, it's a cable which produces redstone signal whenever there is uh, EUs passing through it and it has the same capacity as a uh, glass fiber cable so it's like 512 U per tick and it sends down to the gathering of sensors and I also have oh, this one it has three MFSUs uh, the way this works is that the first MFSU will well uh, technically the last MFSU will be uh, filled up first then the second then it will start f oh, fill up the last one when this one is full uh, I have made it so it gives output signal to this one, so whenever it's full, my uh, control system will know and uh, automatically shut down the reactor and having to manually start it again. So, these temperature sensors have each one purpose. This first one is when the reactor is stopping and it re reaches below this temperature, it assumes that it has stopped. Um, these two sensors uh, define the, the working range. It starts at 500 degrees, works up to 5500 and do a cooling down to 500 and keeps toggling between those two. Uh, these are just uh, alarm, low alarm and high alarm will basically melt down. But this one will never, never manage to uh, 
to go off because of the extra thermal sensor installed directly on the on the reactor. So, and here is the control center. These two computers each controls one reactor each, and looks like this. Um, it tells me uh, the reactor number is manual, but the status uh, is um, dynamic, same as the temperature level, and it also says if it's producing you or if uh, there is a stop applied to this here. Uh, this is not a perfect program, so there is some flaws that the status will go to uh, a known sometimes, but that's just because I don't have a catch for any uh, for for all all the different states that the machine can be in. As you see now, now it's in, in normal state. It's um, trying to reach the top working range. If I reduce this one, it will go into a cooling cycle. So it does get a, a known status for uh, for a bit, but temperature level is uh, three. But um, once this updates, the computer updates every ten second. It says, "Ah, uh, I'm in the cooling state." What I have done is that if um, if the computer have gone in the cool, uh, well, wants to cool down the reactor, and it loses the signal. You see now this turned low. It's um, telling if the signal from uh, if the reactor have stopped. The signal is present on the reactor. An uh, alarm will go off, and this one will display alarm. If it's applied again, let's see. One there, it will stop the reactor, and the status will update again to to, to be cooling. However, if 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 I do this and turn down this, it will go to temperature level four. Still, it will be alarm. Um, it will do mainly the same thing as this one, but this one will uh, announce meltdown, like spike. Yeah, it says temperature level five. It says meltdown. And uh, once it gets gets the chance, it will actually shut down the the reactor completely. Now it will try to stop it completely because it have overheated. It says stopping. So if I put this one back to nine thousand, was it? Yeah, I put the values here so I won't forget them. It will go to level 4, but it will be continuously stopping until it's reached uh, below the stopping point. See, so that was 6,055. And to simulate these ones, I have to put them a bit higher than they usually are. So even now, it should be in temperature level 1, since only the first uh, sensor is active. It's still stopping. And the alarm will not reset until it has stopped. Let's see. This. Now it should be in stopped state. Just waiting for the update. Stopped. Temperature level zero. Stop applied. True. Reactor have stopped because of over. Oh. Typo bug. Over here. Never seen that before. <laughs> uh, check cooling. Uh, type start to start reactor. So I can type start. Uh, this is a bit buggy, but uh, it will have unknown state in, in the beginning and uh, it will go to s starting in a few seconds. Stop applied true. So it's, uh, I don't know why it stops at first, but uh, you know, my coding is not perfect. And then it will remove the stop and go to, uh, to starting. And then you see the redstone symbol is gone. If I pull this down again, there, and this down to 500, it will then say it's in normal state because it's uh, it's it's heat heating up. Um, I also uh, added one more f 
uh, actually two more f features, which um, I can show one of them, but not the second. The first one is that it tells me when uh, the reactor is depleted. Access granted. Because uh, if I take out the uranium cells, it stops pr producing. And well, there is more criteria than not producing. But still, it tells me it's depleted. You need to refill uranium. And once you uh, refill the uranium again, it will start up again. See, like this. And just for safety, let's close this one. I think there's Enderman here somewhere. I see. Yellow snow. Yellow, purple, purple snow. More purple snow. And it's size normal. Uh, this is pretty far on the ground, uh, and I thought to myself, um, I'd like this information to be seen up in my factory. And uh, this is this is at the lava level. It's level 12, is it? Um, but wireless redstone well uh, red nets doesn't go so far so i have a special computer for a repeater here it just receives the broadcast commands and uh, sends them again let's see and up here in the factory out here i have a board saying which states my, oh, that was buggy. Which states each reactor is in. Reactor 1 is normal, reactor 2 is cooling. And uh, 60 days since last accident. That was actually a server restart. Counts Minecraft days. I love computer craft. Um, I'm not completely done here. I, I made a nuclear reactor before I made anything inside here. I don't have anything to use the energy on. And uh, this is the surveillance computer. It only receives uh, information from uh, different computers located around my f uh, factory. And uh, there's the howl alarm. So this one controls the alarm. And, uh, and make sure that the reactor info is displayed correctly here. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I wasn't planning to make a tutorial, but if there's enough interest, I'll uh, give a tutorial how to build the different parts and uh, and go a bit into the programming, how I made this. So, um, thanks for watching, and uh, a thumbs up would be pretty much appreciated. Thank you.